It's a little bit noisy, but I'm really pleased with how this thing is performing. So I just finished what I think is probably the first successful print. Last night it didn't quite get all the way through the dog model that's on the card to begin with. The filament that it came with was enough to get through like a third. But today we've got this. This is a brass knuckles inspired mod for a Nintendo Switch controller. My brother is a big gamer and I thought this would make a great Christmas present. Let's see how it goes. Can I lift it? Okay, I'm gonna grab the scraper. Okay, so it turned out pretty well. Right here, we've got a raft that's still connected. This is to try to get the stick down to the bed properly, and it worked really well. In fact, it worked so well that I couldn't pry this thing off one-handed while filming. And then here, we've got the slide, and I need to break that part off too. This thing looks great. You'll see right here at the top that the top layer didn't come in quite right. I think, Based off of what I've read, and again, this is the very first thing that I have successfully 3D printed, and I would call it a success, that that might be the flow rate. Boost the flow rate, and then it won't make those gaps. I also didn't use, like, hardly any infill here. I went for, like, 5%, so it would be cheap and easy. Maybe too cheap. Okay, we'll see. I'm rather pleased, in any case. Most of the things that you'll find on the sites for 3D models where, that you can print with these machines are models. I mean, they're, they're toys, really. You can get a model of uh, Groot, you can get a model of a little ship, you can get a model of all kinds of things, and all fandoms are represented. thing that gets me the most excited about the 3D printer and what it can do is the ability to make tools. Now as a YouTuber I have you know a GoPro but the trouble with my GoPro is I only have one case for it and it's the waterproof case that blocks all sound. And so right now we're printing a new case. With the 3D printer in this cabinet I can now make tools to hold cameras and all kinds of other stuff. For example I made a nutcracker for my dad and that turned out actually pretty well. It can't fit every walnut, but you know, my dad's favorite thing is to sit and watch TV while cracking walnuts from the tree in the backyard. And now I, I can help him do that, and that's really exciting. And we've got a project in the future. Someday, I wanna get on the Rep Rap bandwagon and make a 3D printer using a 3D printer. Hit the like button and leave a comment if you think that would be an interesting project to see, but I, I would be fascinated. I mean, obviously you can't make the extruder or the motors, at least not all of the motors, but it's, it, ah, it's just inarticulably awesome. I'm going to make that a thing. Inarticulably awesome. Ah!